of them being our PTZ driver, who is operating one of the cameras we have showing the pond area. Right. It looks like we have three bears out in front right now. To the left we have Lucky Bear, who is the larger black bear. He is 335 pounds, give or take a few. He is seven years old, and we call him our local comedian. He is very curious and very playful. And he and our yearling, the little girl right next to him, that's Holly Bear. And she is our yearling who we just received last December. So she is also the newest addition to the North American Bear Center. And these two are very playful with each other. They've developed a very positive sort of brother-sister relationship in the last few weeks. We also have Honey Bear to the far right. And she is our cinnamon phase black bear. So even though she's kind of a reddish brown in color, she is indeed a North American black bear. And she is very rare. Only about 5% of the population in Minnesota are the cinnamon phase. And she will remain this color her whole life. And so those are the three ambassador bears we have out and about right now. We have a fourth ambassador bear named Ted Bear, and he is our 553 pound 17 year old male. And he is in. Now what I mean by in and out, I'll explain a little bit. So each of our four bears has a separate enclosure about the size of a two car garage. So Ted Bear is in his separate pen, and he's 17, he's a little bit older, and he's just taking a little break, a little snooze right now. And by out, I mean these three bears are out and about in our two and a half acre enclosure altogether. Now these enrichment opportunities, the purpose of these is to show you guys how bears interact with each other and how they interact with objects in their environment to get the food they need. We have given two cubes to Lucky and Holly and a donut to Honey Bear. Now these toys are pretty much just made of hard plastic with some holes inside. And we've also placed in some food, some treats in these toys. And so it demonstrates their dexterity and how they have to manipulate objects in their environment to get the food they need. And this is not unlike behavior they would have to do in the wild to get food. So it also stimulates their brain a little bit more. We feed our bears about five times a day here at the Bear Center. Three of those times are enrichment programs, such as the one going on right now. And what we feed them, black bears are omnivores. So they're not carnivores, they're not predators. And so in the wild, a majority of their diet is vegetation, followed by berries and nuts and protein and only about 10% of their diet is protein which usually comes from immature ants and bees so bee and ant larvae are their favorite and that is where they get a majority of their protein. I'll give a little background on each of the berries we have here. I'll start off with our youngest but first I'm going to move locations again so I'll go off mic for just a second. Holly Bear. She is a yearling. She's about 18, 19 months old. And like I mentioned before, she's the newest addition here at the North American Bear Center. Now, Holly was born in the wild in Arkansas, and she was actually separated from her mother in a forest fire. So she was orphaned as a cub in the wild. She was then taken by the Arkansas DNR and taken to a rehab facility in Tennessee where they tried to make her releasable into the wild however she was actually deemed unreleasable and so she didn't have very many options it was pretty much find her a, find her a forever home 
or euthanasia. And so we gladly received her in December of 2013. And she came to us with some infections and some skin conditions, so she wasn't in the best shape. But our first goal was to get her into hibernation, which was successful. Then when she came out in the spring, we kept her quarantined to deal with the infections and skin conditions. And ever since then, we have been working very diligently with her to get her acclimated to this enclosure, the other bears, and to people. And we have two staff members that she bonded with very, very deeply with and trusts very much so. And we call those staff members Mom 1 and Mom 2. And through building that trust, she now is used to these other bears, as you can definitely see. She seems very calm and relaxed. And this was not the case even two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, it took a lot of coaxing and a lot of talking to her to get her out in front of people. And black bears have excellent hearing and senses of smell. So even the slight sound or with different scent they pick up. And so all of the bears out here can probably smell each and every person on the observation deck and hear everything they're doing. And as you can see, they're not really phased by it anymore. Loud noises do kind of scare bears because they are so receptive. Noises and noises in general. But as you can see, our little yearling is doing just fine. Elephants definitely a lot higher than what it used to be. So that's just a little bit about Holly. Looks like Lucky Bear. He is our seven-year-old male. And he was born in Wisconsin, and he was also born in the wild, and actually separated from his mother by a person. So he was taken out of his den by someone who tried to raise them, domesticate him. The Wisconsin, or, yeah, excuse me, the Wisconsin DNR was found out. They took Lucky, and they deemed he was not releasable into the wild. And so, much like Holly, he didn't really have that much in It was either find him a home or euthanasia. And so, we received Lucky in 2007, right as the North American Bear Center was opening. And so it was very lucky timing for this little bear, and that is how he got his name Lucky. And so he has spent the rest of his time here at the Bear Center. Honey Bear is our cinnamon phase female across the pond. She's very beautiful, 18 years old of age. And she and our other male, Ted, who is 17 and 553 pounds, they were both born in captivity, so they have never seen the wild, and they will never see the wild, unfortunately. But Honey and Ted were both born in captivity on a game farm in Wisconsin. They were then purchased by a private party, and for the first 10 years of their life, they lived there with that private party in Wisconsin. However, this party could no longer keep the bears, and they could no longer obviously be released into the wild. And so Ted and Honey also came to us in 2007 when we're opening. Now you folks just saw some very interesting behavior by a little Holly. She made some vocalizations, some huffing, and then climbed right up a tree. And that is very normal behavior for bears in the wild her age. Black bears are vocal animals, and they will tell you how they feel by their vocalizations. And that, I am guessing, was a nervous kind of vocalization because Honey Bear, our older female, was coming a little closer, kind of coming towards Holly. And in the wild, black bears live in a matriarchal society. And so whatever the female says goes. And we call Honey Bear our cinnamon phase female queen bee around here. And so she has oftentimes chased Holly and actually chased her up a tree. And this is very common behavior in the wild as well. For the first 17 months of a bear's life, it is with its mother and nursing and taking cues from its mother, seeking its mother for protection. But at about 18 or 19 months, 
family breakup occurs and the mother bear pretty much kicks out her cubs or her yearlings at that time and they are on their own. And so Holly Bear here would be on her own in the wild right now. And they are territory territorial animals and so being a year being new, she's a little bit low on the totem pole. She does not have a set territory. Doesn't really know where the food is anymore and is trying to figure out her place wild and so many times and for most of a yearling's life it is spent up a tree just as Holly showed you guys a few minutes ago. Now black bears have very strong claws that make them very good at climbing trees and they are very well adapted for climbing trees and it is their number one defense mechanism in the wild and so if they detect danger or they become uncomfortable like Holly Bear was she gave some vocalizations and then shot up that tree and that's pretty much what any bear her age would do in the wild if it felt uncomfortable it would climb up a tree and black bears can climb at a very young age all cubs are born in January so over hibernation over the winter and when they come out in the spring, they can climb. And it's a very important skill that black bears have. Now, Lucky Bear, our seven-year-old male that was out and about before, he still climbs trees as well. And he climbs pretty fast. And I mentioned earlier that he and Holly are playmates, and they will actually chase each other up trees, around trees, down trees, all over the place. So. Black bear is not only used for refuge, but also to play in and sleep in. Funny, funny enough, little holly bear likes to climb this dead, half dead white pine to the left and actually take little naps in there. And I don't know how she does not fall off because I surely would. But those are our four bears we have here at the Bear Center. I would like to thank everyone for joining us today whether that be at the Bear Center or our worldwide audience, especially a shout out to our worldwide volunteers. Thank you very much to our miners and our PTZ drivers, wherever you may be. Thank you very much. I would like to remind the folks here that we are open until 7 o'clock tonight. And the pass you did purchase is a day pass, so you can come go as you wish. Go into, the go into the town of Ely, grab some food, and come on back. Otherwise, thank you all for joining us, and I hope you enjoy your time in Ely at the American Bear Center. Thank you very much.